Mortimer's Christmas Manger Mortimer's Christmas Manger by Karma Wilson Illustrated by Jane Chapman In a big house lived a wee mouse named Mortimer. He dwelled in a dark hole under the stairs. Nobody ever noticed little Mortimer, and Mortimer liked it that way. But he didn't like his hole. Too cold, too cramped, too creepy, squeaked Mortimer. Each day he snuck out and crept about looking for crumbs and tidbits. One day... Mortimer spied something new. What he spied was wonderful. He saw a huge tree covered with twinkling lights. Nestled on top was a bright shining star. But something even better than the tree itself sat next to it on the table. Mortimer sighed with delight. Oh, a house just my size. But the house was so high and Mortimer was so low. I'll climb up the tree, said Mortimer. It made a perfect ladder for a mouse. Up, 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 Mortimer climbed. Down, 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 ornaments crashed. Finally, he reached the table. Perfect, said Mortimer. Not cold, not cramped, not creepy. Cozy. But who are you? Mortimer had never seen people so small, almost as small as himself. He had never seen such strange animals either. Tap, tap, tap. Mortimer knocked, but no one answered. Tap, tap, tap. No one moved an inch. I see, Mortimer squeaked. You aren't real. Only statues. And so Mortimer lugged and Mortimer tugged. One by one, he dragged the statues out. When he reached the smallest statue, he saw it was a baby. A baby in a wooden bed just Mortimer's size. There is no room for you here, Mortimer said. Out you go. Then into bed crawled Mortimer. He fell fast asleep in the soft, warm hay. The next day, as Mortimer crept about, he found good things to eat. Cookie crumbs, fruitcake morsels, and spicy peppermint candy. But when Mortimer scampered back up to his new home, the statues were set up again. No, 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 squeaked Mortimer. This won't do. There's no room for me. And so... Mortimer lugged and Mortimer tugged until all the statues were out. And stay out, he said. Then into bed crawled Mortimer. He fell fast asleep in the soft, warm hay. But each day while Mortimer scurried about, the statues were set up again. And Mortimer always lugged and tugged them back out. Then, one day, Mortimer set out and saw the big people gathered around the tree. He couldn't go out there, so he hid among the statues. A man started talking. Mortimer listened, and what he heard was wonderful. Since it is Christmas Eve, I shall tell the Christmas story, said the man. A long time ago, in a little town called Bethlehem, Mortimer heard about people named Joseph and Mary and a bright shining star. He heard about shepherds watching their flocks by night and traveling wise men. The man continued, and there was no room for them in the inn. Then Mortimer heard about a baby, a baby who was born in a stable and had no real bed but slept in a wooden manger, a baby born to save the world. And his name shall be called Jesus, said the man. Mortimer looked at the bright, shining star on the tree. He looked at his new home and his new bed. He looked at the statues. Last of all, he looked at the baby. I see, sighed Mortimer. You aren't just any statue. You are a statue of Jesus. Mortimer sniffed. Mortimer snuffled. A tear rolled down his furry cheek. There was no room for you in the inn. But I know where there is room, he said. 
And so... Mortimer lugged and Mortimer tugged. Soon he dragged all the statues back to where they belonged. Last of all, he laid the baby in the manger. This belongs to you, he said. Mortimer smiled. You look warm and cozy now. There was no place for Mortimer to go except back to the cold, cramped, creepy hole. As Mortimer scuttled down the tree, he said a prayer. Jesus, you were born to save the world. Perhaps you could also bring me home. And then Mortimer spied something new. What he spied was wonderful. Mortimer sighed with delight. A house just my size. There were no statues in sight. And so... Mortimer moved right in. Thank you, Jesus, said Mortimer. You've made room for me, too. The End